Hello everyone. Before I get underway with the Price is Right pricing game recap, uh, Maestro Mason 1987 forgot to mention in his acknowledgement section that back on Friday, the envelope in Safe Crackers contained the Price is Right logo on it and it was red. Plus also, NBC 11 News Clips forgot to acknowledge on his behalf that they didn't really play the Safe Crackers music cue, although I kind of heard a little bit of it in the background. Anyway, because of their forgetfulness, so that's all I wanted to bring to your attention. I will now move aside for the disclaimer. And now it's time for the Price is Right Pricing Game Recap for Monday, February 20th, 2012, President's Day. Today's pricing games played were the following to start the week. That's too much! One Wrong Price, Grocery Game, Secret X, More or Less, and Freeze Frame. The first contestant was Michael, who seemed to have complimented on the miles quite a lot. Good for him. <laughs> anyway, uh, that married man played That's Too Much for a Toyota Camry LE modeled by Awesome Amber. He shouted the three words on the sixth price, $21,840. Was that the price that was just over the actual retail price of the car? No. He should have went two more times. The price that was too much was... 24,020. The actual retail price revealed by Amber, 23,700. To be completely honest, I thought the third price was the one that was too much. All right, Larry played one wrong price for a Honda Metropolitan scooter that came with a 49cc liquid-cooled engine and automatic transmission modeled by Ravishing Rachel, a 21-inch Apple iMac desktop computer and printer with blazing fast processor, built-in high-def webcam, and 500GB hard drive modeled by Marvelous Manuela, and an Inspire Fitness Smith Cage System Home Gym that came with a dual-stack weight design to provide unique isolateral exercises modeled by Amber. Larry believed the one wrong price went to the computer at $2,000 and not the Metropolitan scooter from Honda at $2,149 or the Inspire Fitness Home Gym at $5,195. I felt it was the computer myself, so I felt good on his choice. So when Manuel revealed the price of the computer, it turned out it was... $1,299! He won all three prizes for a grand total of $8,643. Melissa played grocery game for a trip to Hawaii modeled by a bikini top amber and short bottoms as well holding up a surfboard that Melissa bid perfectly on winning $500. Uh, the trip to Hawaii was valued at $9,666. Rachel was in charge of the cashier. And the theme for Grocery Game today all involved cream products. We had a 14.4 ounce box of cream of wheat cereal. A six pack of 12 fluid ounces of IBC cream soda. We also had a 10.3 quarter ounce can of Campbell's cream of broccoli soup. Gold Bond Medicated Cream, and also a 8-pack of Creamsicle Sherbet Bars. Alright, Melissa first bought 10 cans of Campbell's Cream of Broccoli Soup. 
One can cost a dollar sixty-nine. Ten of them total, sixteen dollars ninety cents. As Rachel rang that up. So now she had to get between three dollars ten cents and four dollars ten cents to win. She then bought one box of the cream of wheat. One fourteen point four ounce box of cream of wheat cereal went for four forty nine. Adding that to sixteen ninety, her total was. $21.39 and she was over by 39 cents. Oh! My Mason 1987 acknowledged that uh, Drew said that's too much when 21.39 rang up. I honestly didn't catch that part, but if he caught that part, then bravo to him. Uh, also, NBC 11 News Clips acknowledged this to me. If Melissa had bought seven cans of the cream of broccoli soup and two boxes of cream of wheat cereal, she would have won. I believe the total would have been uh, $20.61 or 21 20, excuse me, $20.61 or $20.81. One of those two totals. Moving on. Mercedes played Secret X for an eight-piece Howard Miller Total Foam Thai Pennington Collection Dining Room Group, along with Noritake Color Wave Graphite Dinnerware with service of eight accessory and goblets from the Breeze Collection, and a one-year subscription to the Ice Cream of the Month Club from AmazingClub.com. Modeled by Manuela, valued at $7,785. Mercedes placed her free X on the top right, and now she had a chance to earn two more X's. Amber modeled these two small prizes, a home soda maker and a hand-powered chopper. Mercedes believed the home soda maker was $200, not $281. And Amber revealed the price to be $200. She placed her earned X on the top left. Now, for the hand-powered chopper, she believed it was $50 and not $73. And Amber revealed the price to be $50. She got another X. She placed her second or next on the bottom right. So, in order for Mercedes to win, the secret X had to be either in the top or in the middle. It was on the bottom. Nope. Couldn't win. And when Drew revealed where the secret X was, it turned out to be... For the middle, she won! All right. Kayla played more or less for a Casio Selviano 18220 digital piano that came with stereo grand piano sounds, a weighted hammer action keyboard, 63 set songs, and a two track rec recorder modeled by Rachel. We also had a Golden West Billiards billiard table with accessory packs included, modeled by Amber. A Bose 46 inch video wave HDT with handy built in system, also modeled by Amber. And we had a Toyota Tacoma 4x2 modeled by Manuela. First off, with a digital piano at $700, Kayla believed the actual retail price was more. And you revealed it to be. More! It was $1,300. Now on to the billiard table. She believed that the price of $3,500, the actual retail price was more. The audience didn't like that, but part of me felt it was more. And it turned out it was... What? It was $2,800. So she did win the digital piano, so that does count as a consolation win. Well, that's with you. I thought the price of that pool table was thirty-five ninety-five. Finally, Danielle played freeze frame for a thirty-inch gas range, a twenty-five point one cubic foot refrigerator, a twenty-four inch built-in dishwasher, and a super energy efficient front load washer and gas dryer. Drew mentioned that they were all from the Maytag company, and they were all modeled by Manuela. Danielle froze the price inside the frame at 
$9,432. And the actual retail price was $5,075. I was thinking the price was $7,594. So on this year for President's Day, we had two pricing games won. They were One Wrong Price and Secret X. Plus, we gave away a digital piano and more or less, and $500 won by Melissa for our perfect bid. The MVPs of the Price is Right are Larry and Mercedes, and the contestant recognition contestants are Melissa and Kayla. Kayla for her small win in more or less, and to Melissa for not just her $500, but she also won her showcase that involved a trip to Santa Fe, New Mexico to go to the Calistoga Mud Bath, an aerial bath two-person therapeutic aerial steam shower unit with a built-in generator, as well as radio and hydrotherapy back massage jets, and a sea new Speedster 150 15-foot sport boat that came with a 155 horsepower engine, trailer included. This week, the Price is Right Pricing Game Recap is brought to you by Mrs. Cubbinson's Classic Season Restaurant Style Croutons. Now, I would like to inform all of you about the tape dates of this upcoming week's episodes of The Price is Right. Today's episode was taped back on January 11th. Tomorrow's episode will have a tape date from also January 11th. Wednesday's episode will be having a tape date from January 10th, my birthday. And Thursday and Friday, both of those episodes have a tape date from January 17th. Friday's episode, as I noticed when I was watching Let's Make a Deal this morning, will be a special salute to firefighters. So I'll be looking forward on watching that. Oh, and just to let you all know that Drew is not in his sling today, but he still had a little problem with his, uh, his right arm. That it still is a, in a little bit of pain. Uh, NBC 11 News Clips wanted me to acknowledge that. But, um, I'm sure Drew's arm is feeling okay right now, but we'll find out on, um, Thursday and Friday, he'll bring that up, because tomorrow's tape dates, I think he'll still mention about his arm being a little sore. Uh, anyway, until tomorrow, this is Mr. Horgan reminding you to help control the pet population. Have your pets spayed or neutered. See you all tomorrow for Mardi Gras.